Hey guys, so today we'll be learning how to mirror your Android device onto your computer and also how to send commands via Python to your device. Enabling these things will open up a lot of possibilities for automation of tasks. We're going to need to access your device, so before we get started, make sure that your device is connected to your computer via the USB port. Now we're going to double check that you have the developer options enabled. To do this, you'll need to go into settings then scroll down and click on about phone in this screen find the build model and tap on it seven times you will get a message stating that you've enabled developer options but in my case i've already unlocked it to turn on usb debugging go back into settings and tap on system you will now see a new developer option menu tap into this menu and scroll down until you see the usb debugging options You can go ahead and toggle this option on. The next thing we're going to do is download the screen share software named SCRCPY. The URL can be found in the description below. Just scroll down and click the Windows download button. Go ahead and unpack the file and click on the SCRCPY executable to start the program. Initially, there'll be a prompt on your device asking you if it's okay for your computer to connect. Go ahead and allow this connection and the program should start mirroring your device. Now load up your Python development environment. I'm gonna be using PyCharm. We will need to install a package to interface with the Android device. To do this, go into File Settings and hit the plus icon at the bottom left. Type in peer, python, adb and install the package. To test that you're able to connect to your device, you can run the code below, and I have linked to a GitHub in the description for the code. If the program finishes and outputs connected to device, you are now able to send commands from Python. Note, for this to work, the screen share program must be running while executing the program as it uses the ADB tool to connect to your device. The most common commands that will be simulated are screen taps and swipes, but you can also input text and call key events which can do things like opening your camera, changing the volume or brightness, or accessing other apps on your device. I will leave a link in the description for other key events that you may want to use. In order to get coordinates on the device, we'll use a developer tool to show this information. To turn on this tool, go to Settings, System, Developer Option, and scroll down until you find an option named Pointer Location. Toggle this on and you'll see a bar appear at the top of the screen that will show you the location of any area on the screen that you touch. Positions on your device are laid out in an XY coordinate. The point zero zero is located on the top left and the X value increases as you go to the right. The Y value will also increase as you go down. I have included a diagram to help explain this concept. We will now use a paint program to emulate screen taps and swipes by drawing a smiley face. Using the pointer location tool, I've recorded all of the points necessary to draw the face. For the eyes, we will be using tap commands, and for the smile, we'll need to emulate three separate swipe commands. I have included the code in the description below if you'd like to reference it. But note that your screen size may vary and the points may need to be modified to match your device. And that about wraps it up. If you have any suggestions of anything else you'd like to see automated, uh, drop a comment below.